With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Block on first down. Open ball, and there's Bobo. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first and ten, Lock. He completes this to Walker. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing his lock. That'll be caught by Bobo. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. Here we go. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. 12, 12, 12. Now Patterson to start the drive. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. The guy's man complete. are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Back to throw, Locke. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the 13-time pro bowler Ray Lewis. And he'll take this across midfield and inside. 
inside the 45. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. A nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone. He's got a man complete. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Calvin Ridley, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots have taken the lead. the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Give them 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Here's Locke. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. 